Team USA was in St. Catharines recently to take part in an international ball hockey exhibition series. This is an international uh, uh, warm up for the uh, world championships that are going on in Switzerland next month. Uh, the U.S. team has traveled up to St. Catharines to compete against uh, Team Italy and two local teams. The Niagara Rebels are one of Canada's top five ball hockey teams. It's been a team that's been together about five, six years now. Um, just a bunch of brothers actually that started it up, combined two teams together. Um, we've been winning some lower stuff and we kind of just kind of, you know, started playing some bigger tournaments and uh, find ourselves here now. We've played some big teams in the Nationals of Canada last year and the year before. Um, and when we heard that you know, Team USA wanted to play us, we thought it was a great opportunity for uh, us and all of St. Catharines too. Ball hockey uh, is uh, growing rapidly uh, across both, well, in, in all sorts of markets everywhere. The guys that are here from the U.S. are from all over the U.S. And uh, whether it's here in Niagara or all over Ontario, uh, I know ballhockey.com, we're opening up facilities all over the place and it's 100% uh, dedicated to the sport. The exhibition series allows spectators to see some of the best ball hockey players in the world. Uh, this is my first chance and stint at coaching the men's U.S. ball hockey team. Uh, we had a camp back in Drakett, Massachusetts, about a month ago, and we felt like there was no better way to get ourselves prepared for Switzerland and Zug, Switzerland, June 18th and 19th through the 29th, other than to play a couple games against some already really competitive and well-established teams like the Rebels, Team Italy later on, and then tomorrow the War Pigs. So we'll really see what we're made of and see if all those strategic pieces we put in place a month ago are formulated out on the rink today. See where our growth is necessary. Rebels team captain Troy Miner was excited at the opportunity to compete against Team USA. It's tough. It's our first game of the year. Um, it's their, well, I mean, I'm sure they've been playing together for a little while. Um, it'll be tough. It'll be, it'll be a great game because it's uh, the first one of the year, so we'll be very excited. But. Uh, Time will tell, I guess. It's pretty much exactly the same game with, with the only difference being that without the blades on and, and, and less contact. We, we typically don't allow as much contact as they would in regular ice hockey. So you typically get the skill focus on the game and, uh, and uh, these guys play at an extremely high level. It's, uh, it's amazing to watch. Team USA coach Corey Hurst believed his club would be in for a tough game against the Niagara Rebels. They're fast. You know, they're not like the typical Canadian hockey team. A lot of guys that coach against and play against Canadians up here know that they like possession and they like to slow the game down, use their skill to kind of wear you out in the offensive zone, use their wide bodies and their shooting ability. They, they got speed and they use it to their greatest advantage and they put their face in front of a hockey ball to stop it from going in. So we, we expect some tenacity and it's, this should be a good game. For information, visit ballhockey.com. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.